Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to use OptiScaler XCSS frame generation and low latency mode in Stellar Play running on my Steam Deck that comes with Linux Space, Steam OS and ROG Ally that comes with Windows 11. I'll be running the game's demo. Now it officially supports FSR 3.1 frame generation and upscaling but on Steam Deck frame generation does not work at all. Game's performance remains the same even after enabling frame generation. This does not happen on ROG Ally but in-game FSR frame generation produces a graphical artifact. It makes our character's shadow look a bit blurry during fast visual motion. XCSS frame generation does not produce this graphical artifact. On Steam Deck, FSR upscaler makes the game world look very grainy, pixelated. Image quality can be considerably improved by using OptiScaler's XCSS upscaler. Ok, I'll kick things off with Steam Deck. First, I'll highlight the problems with the in-game FSR 3.1 upscaler and frame generation using G-Proton version 10-15 as the compatibility layer. It's the LCD variant of tech, display supports up to 60Hz refresh rate. Need to add a launch argument to the game to unlock all of the in-game settings on Steam Deck. Tap on the settings cog here, tap on properties in general under launch options, add this line of text, Steam Deck equal to 0 space percentage command percentage. Now the game. Connected my FlyDG Beta 4 Pro controller to deck via Bluetooth mode, X input controller. Performance QM settings. Only level set to 3. I have overclocked my Steam Deck's refresh rate from 60 to 70 Hz. It's not recommended to disable Steam OS VSync for uncapping the FPS as it will cause the game to run in a choppy manner with XCSS frame generation enabled. Display settings, mode set to borderless window required for using XCSS frame gen. 800p resolution, VSync off, no FPS cap applied. Motion blur and camera shake disabled. Frame gain chromatic abrasion disabled as well. Accessibility section disable motion blur from here. Graphics upscaler set to FSR 3. Sharpness level set to 3. Using the upscaler's quality preset, I'll set the settings to medium. Disable post processing effects like chromatic abrasion, film grain, motion blur. Yeah, that's it. Estimated VRAM usage 6 GB. Yeah, we are in. There's a character Eve, and oh my god, the game world is looking so pixelated. Just observe Eve's ponytail during motion can literally count the individual pixels I tested the game at launch I am surprised that the developers still haven't fixed this issue pause the game yeah now observe Eve's character model her hair it's looking so pixelated even her costume the plastic objects on her costume they are looking pixelated this game uses Unreal Engine 4 performance is very good as you can see 45 fps ok now i'll enable in game fsr frame generation game does not support xcss upscaler it's disappointing vegetation looking so pixelated graphics settings frame generation on i'll just restart the game Restarted the game and you can see FPS did not increase at all. Still getting around 46 FPS. This is with FSR frame generation enabled. In game FSR frame gen. Very disappointing. Now I'll show you how to install OptiScaler mod. Switch to SteamOS desktop mode. Version 0.9 preview 1. Test build of OptiScaler mod had some performance issues in this game on AMD GPUs. The latest build works just fine. Version 0.9 Preview 2 20250907. It's available on OptiScaler's Discord server. I'll give the link to the server in the description of the video. Just click on the dot link here. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Go to Downloads. Here you'll find OptiScaler Mods archive file that you just downloaded. I have transferred it to another directory. It does not matter. Need to extract its contents. Open the archive file. Click on Extract. Extract. Wait for the extraction process to complete. Close the archive window. Finished. Open the extracted folder. Just change the name of optiscaler.dll file to dxgi.dll. 
Now just copy the highlighted files dxj.tll, xcss files, frame generation, super resolution, low latency mode, DirectX 11 version of xcss not required, AMD Fidelity FX files, Vulkan version not required, frame generation, upscaler, legacy file, optiscaler.ini, fake nv api.ini, and dll. Newcom nice mod not required. Right click, copy, open the games installed directory. I'll show you where to paste these files. Select the game in your stream library, right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open sp folder, bind this folder, win64 folder, paste everything here. Override, we are ready to run the game. Switch to SteamOS gaming mode. Launch the game. Graphic settings. Resolution scaling mode set to DLSS4. Your Optic Scaler mod is working. Sharpness level set to nil. Increase or decrease the in-game sharpness using Optic Scaler mod. No access to frame generation setting. DLSS frame gen. Resolution settings left as they are. Medium with post-processing effects disabled. Jump into the game. We are in. Open Optic Scaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. If you don't have a keyboard, just map the insert key to any of Steam Deck's backup buttons. Increase the mod menu size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu US scale. Select 1.3 as the option. Yeah, much better. Upscaler set to XCSS version 2.0.2. .2. Input in game DLSS upscaler. DXJS spoofing on. Auto Express setting on. Frame generation disabled for the time being. First, I'll show you the base performance with XCSS upscaler. Click on save INI. In this way, mod settings won't get reset after restarting the game. Close. Yeah, here we are getting around 40 FPS. Image quality, it's not looking grainy. Check out is hair rendered properly, not looking pixelated. With FSR 3.1 upscaler FPS was close to 45. 40 FPS with XCSS, understandable, we are getting a better looking image quality with XCSS. Ok, now I will show you how to enable XCSS frame generation. Open the mod menu, click on the drop down bar next to FG source, select DLSS G via Streamline as the option. This game supports DLSS frame generation and a Streamline version newer than version 2. So this option will work, we won't be required to deal with hotfix. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG. Now you need to click on save INI, close, restart the game, play. Now go to the in game graphics settings, from here you need to enable TLSS frame generation setting. Yeah, the setting is accessible now, just set it to two times, open performance game settings, enable manual GPU clock speed setting and set the clock speed to 1400 MHz to not uncap the FPS otherwise game will run in a choppy manner with XCSS frame gen enabled. Once you are in, open OptiScaler menu, check this setting active under frame generation XCFG. Current streamline FG state on, frame time graph became thick, this means XCSS frame gen is working. Enable debug view, yeah you will see these purple sidebars flickering, these sidebars won't appear at all. If XCSS frame generation is not working, uncheck the setting. Current method mentioned XCLL low latency mode under frame rate section. I'll test XCLL's FPS cap. Apply 22 FPS cap. Apply. Yeah, it's working. Remove the FPS cap. Set the limit to nil. Save INI close. Let's just play the game. Here, yeah, check out the real world input delay. Nothing extreme. FPS is close to 60. I can observe the add amount of smoothness tracing a circle. No artifacts are produced around Eve's character model during fast visual motion. Just beg your pardon. Just observe Eve's shadow. I'll be sprinting. The shadow is looking sharp. It's not looking blurry during fast visual motion. FSR frame generation will make it look blurry. Games 
hard elements are not flickering that's good to see engage in combat smoothing effect is very consistent it does not get disabled in during combat of fast visual motion use my skill on this thing it's done okay now i'll show you how to switch to fsr frame generation the process is very simple let's open the mod menu click on the drop down bar next to fg output and select fsr fg make sure fg source is set to dlsr gui streamline click on save ini close restart the game play again make sure in game dlss frame generation setting is enabled set it to two times we are in open out this killer menu check the setting active under frame generation fsi fg your frame generation is working if you want to increase the image sharpness just check the setting override under sharpness section there's a slider stick with the default value 0.300 this is optional current method mentioned latency flex Say why not close? Here yeah, the FPS increased to around 53. Take out the small fries. FSR frame gen's latency is slightly higher than that of XCSS frame gen. Not observing any artifacts around Eve's character model during fast visual motion. When I spin the camera, a screen tearing like effect can be seen around the. left and right edges of the display i'll just print now just observe eve's shadow here yeah, it's looking a bit blurry see xcss frame gen didn't exhibit this graphical artifact we were getting slightly better performance using xcss frame gen i'll quickly show you fsr frame gen debug view No hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image. Game's interface won't flicker with FSR frame gen on. Color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR frame gen will work properly. Displays are working properly for all of the images. Okay, now I'll test the game on raw color. I've already highlighted the difference between. XSS frame gen and FSR frame gen so on raw gala i'll just show you the setup process for XSS frame gen just download the latest version of optiskill test build version 0.9 preview 2 20250907 available on their discord server click on the .mz link here open the mods archive file and just copy the highlighted files optiskill.ini and optiskill.dll XSS frame generation XCSS TX LAN version not required. XCSS super resolution. XCSS low latency mode. Fake NV API files. Newcom 9 smart not required. Fidelity FX Vulkan version not required. Fidelity FX Upscaler TX12. Fidelity FX Frame Gen TX12. Fidelity FX TX12. TLL file. Copy. And just open the game since dot directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click Manage. Click on Browse Local Files. Open SP folder. binaries folder win64 folder paste everything here replace change the name of optiskiller.dll file to dxti.dll that's it we have installed the mod ready to run the game adrenaline settings free sync and be sync enabled i have set the uma buffer size to 6 gb mileage running on bios version 342 Install Alas latest official GPU driver that adds support for Battlefield 6. Using a 25 watts manual profile or three power value set at 25 watts. Resolution 9 megapixel full HD. CPU boost disable connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to Alas via Bluetooth mode. I'll be using RTSS to show you the performance metrics. Open RTSS, click on Setup, scroll down to the end. And just make sure enable frame rate limiter setting. and inject nvidia reflex latency marker settings are disabled enable use microsoft d2's api hooking setting launch the game display settings mode set to borderless window required for using xcfg resolution full hd vsync of 
नर्व केस कैप अप्लाइड मोशन ब्लर कैमरा शेक सेट टू नील फिल्म ग्रेन क्रोमैटिक वाइब्रेशन डिसेबल ग्राफिक्स अपस्केलर सेट टू डी एल एस एस फो शार्पनेस लेवल सेट टू नील यूजिंग द अपस्केलर क्वालिटी प्री सेट नो एक्सेस टू फ्रेम जनरेशन सेटिंग डी एल एस एस फ्रेम जन एनवायरमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेल सेट टू हाई रेस्ट ऑफ द सेटिंग सेट टू मीडियम पोस्ट प्रोसेसिंग इफेक्ट्स लाइक टाइप ऑफ फील्ड क्रोमैटिक वाइब्रेशन फिल्म ग्रेन डिसेबल मोशन ब्लर स्ट्रेंथ सेट टू नील एक्सेसिबिलिटी सेक्शन डिसेबल मोशन ब्लर फ्रॉम है जंप इन टू द गेम देर इज अ कैरेक्टर ओपन ऑप्टिक्स के लिए मेन्यू में प्रेसिंग द इंसर्ट की बोर्ड की आई इंक्रीज इट साइज क्लिक ऑन द ड्रॉप टर्न बाय नेक्स्ट टू मेन्यू यू एस स्केल सेट द वैल्यू टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स फ्रॉम दिस ड्रॉप टर्न बाय सिलेक्ट एक्स सी एस एस ऑफ स्केलर वर्जन टू पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट टू इनपुट इन गेम डी एल एस एस सेटिंग टी एक्स चाइस प्रूफिंग ऑन ऑटो एक्सपोर सेटिंग इनेबल फ्रेम जनरेशन डिसेबल फॉर द टाइम बिंग चेक द सेटिंग ओवर एड अंडर शार्पनेस सेक्शन इंक्रीज द इमेज शार्पनेस सेट द वैल्यू टू जीरो पॉइंट फोर हंड्रेड अप टू यू से वायन आई क्लोज एनजीव एव यूर गेटिंग अराउंड थर्टी सेवन एफ पी एस हेडिंग द जी पी बॉटल नेक इमेज क्वालिटी इट्स लुकिंग सो शार्प क्लीन इट्स अ बिट ओवर किल यू कैन ड्रॉप द रेस्टोशन टू नाइन हंड्रेड पी परफॉर्मेंस विल इम्प्रूव इमेज क्वालिटी विल बेली डिग्रेड गेम विल स्टिल लुक शार्प ओके नाउ आई एल इनेबल एक्स सी एफ जी एफ पी एस स्टेट विद रेंज ऑफ थर्टी सेवन टू फोर्टी ओपन ऑफ टेस्ट के लिए मेन्यू क्लिक ऑन द टॉप टर्न बाय नेक्स्ट टू एफ जी सोर्स एंड सिलेक्ट टी एल एस एस टी वाई स्ट्रीम लाइन एस द ऑप्शन गेम सपोर्ट टी एल एस एस फ्रेम जनरेशन एंड स्ट्रीम लाइन वर्जन न्यूर दैन वर्जन टू सो दिस ऑप्शन विल वर्क क्लिक ऑन द टॉप टर्न बाय नेक्स्ट टू एफ जी आउटपुट एंड सिलेक्ट एक्स सी एफ जी यू वॉन्ट बी रिक्वायर्ड टू डील विद हार्ट फिक्स क्लिक ऑन से वाइन आई क्लोज एक्सिट द गेम नीड टू रिस्टार इट प्ले ओपन इन गेम ग्राफिक सेटिंग्स फॉर्म है इनेबल डी एल एस एस फ्रेम जनरेशन वी हैव एक्सेस टू द सेटिंग नाउ सेट इट टू टू टाइम्स इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली इनेबल रिफ्लेक्स वन शी आर एन ओपन ऑप्टिक स्किल अबाउट मेन्यू चेक दिस सेटिंग एक्टिव अंडर फ्रेम जनरेशन एक्स सी एफ जी करंट स्ट्रीम लाइन एफ जी स्टेट ऑन या फ्रेम पेसिंग ग्राफ बिकेम थे एक्स सी एफ जी इज वर्किंग चेक द डी बग व्यू इनेबल इट विल सी दिस पर्पल साइड पास फ्लिकरिंग कैन ऑब्सर्व द एड अमाउंट ऑफ स्मूथनेस जस्ट डिसेबल डी बग व्यू आई जस्ट यूज एक्स सी एस एस इंस्पेक्टर एप टू वेरीफाई द स्टेटस ऑफ एक्स सी एस एस फीचर्स मिनिमाइज द गेम रन इंस्पेक्टर एप क्लिक ऑन शो ऑल प्रोसेस लुक फॉर स्टेल प्लेट द गेम विच इज रनिंग इन द बैकग्राउंड देर इट इज डबल क्लिक एक्स सी एस एस एफ जी कंटेक्स इट्स रनिंग एक्स सी एल एल कंटेक्स लो लेटेंसी मोड या इट्स ऑन वैलिड फ्रेम्स ऑल गुड है बैक टू द गेम यू एफ पी एस इंक्रीज टू राउंड फिफ्टी फाइव कैन ऑब्सर्व दैट अमाउंट ऑफ स्मूथनेस Look at that real world input delay. Nothing extreme. Barely any latency. Engage in combat. Total power draw around forty three watts. Playing the game on battery. AP power draw twenty five watts. Remaining battery sixty one percent estimated. Remaining play time twenty six minutes. Oh my god, this thing exploded. Use my beta scale. Fifty one to fifty seven FPS. Sprinting. Shadow is still looking sharp. See, game's interface. It's not flickering. वेरी गुड रिजल्ट प्रोड्यूस बाय नेक्स्ट एस एस फ्रेम जे इन दिस गेम दैट्स इट विद वीडियो गाइज आई होप यू फॉर इट यूजफुल थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड हैव अ नाइस डे